This morning on my morning wander through the garden, hunting for green caterpillars for my ducklings, I spotted a cauliflower. I thought my season was over, with what I thought was the last of the collies bolting in this warmer weather. I decided to finally make giardinera, an Italian pickle using cauliflowers, carrots and celery, all of which I have growing in my garden. I've been looking forward to making this so I can keep it in my pantry to enjoy throughout the cool winter months when the garden is growing slow. I envision eating it for breakfast with fried eggs and other condiments we have preserved, or maybe with some homemade cheese and crackers. I've chopped all my washed veggies. You can leave them as chunky as you like or cut them smaller if you desire. Over the vegetables, I add a quarter cup of sea salt, covering all of this with water. I leave this to sit overnight. The salt will draw out all the excess moisture from the vegetables. This step is important because if just pickled fresh, all of the moisture from the vegetables would dilute the brine, causing spoilage and even possible illness. The next morning, I prepare the jars. It is important to sterilise the jars so no foreign bacteria can spoil your preserves. I like to boil them. To the jars I add half a teaspoon of oregano, half a teaspoon of coriander, quarter teaspoon of mustard seeds, a quarter teaspoon of fennel, a quarter teaspoon of pepper, one chilli, one bay leaf. and one clove of garlic that's been sliced in half. Now it's time to drain and rinse the soaked vegetables, packing them tightly into the jars.
To make the brine, I boil four cups of water, four cups of vinegar, and two tablespoons of salt together. Pouring this hot liquid over the vegetables. If you plan to eat them straight away, you can leave them in the fridge for a few weeks. But I want these over winter, so I will water bath them for 15 minutes. I always get a heap of questions asking me how I grow perfect collies. I failed for so many years and I don't really know what the trick was once I moved up here. Maybe it's a slightly cooler climate that I have. I'm in a cool temperate climate. I believe I'm in cool zone 10 and heat zone 4. But we've had a much cooler year this year. We've had a lot of rains, a lot of cloud cover and we haven't had many days above 30 which is why I'm not seeing any vaulting. I believe the trick is really rich soil. I have slightly acidic soil here. I'm not sure if the pH has anything to do with it, but I think the other trick is constant water. So I never let the soil dry out. I keep it nice and moist. In saying that, I still do get a few that bolt, but that's why I grow so many. I try and put as many as I can in the ground so I can account for pest pressures like slugs and snails and um, cauliflowers that aren't growing optimally. I can usually tell this because when the leaves grow they're much shorter and the leaves are very narrow and tall and they don't really have the width. So I can probably start culling out plants that I know aren't going to create a beautiful big head. Now that I've had a bit more experience in the garden and I've, and I've observed what's going on. It's usually those heads that bolt. And by bolt, I mean the cauliflower having really loose curds or florets and not forming that nice, really big, tight head that we're used to seeing in the supermarket. There's nothing wrong with the ones that bolt. You can still cook them up and eat them. They're absolutely perfect in soups because you can't tell. <laughs> but because I had the space and I could probably plant enough anyway, I'll probably start going through cutting off the plants that aren't big enough to form the, be the beautiful big heads that I want. Let's go have a quick look through my garden and I'll show you an example of one that's bolting. This one here has bolted and you can see you could totally harvest these stalks and cook with them. I mean, you could even put them in a stir fry. There's nothing wrong with that. The plant overall is much smaller. You can see those long skinny leaves and it's not very wide. There's my hand for a comparison. The plant's not very big, so it didn't have much chance in producing a nice big head. Unfortunately, I've just harvested this cauliflower, so you can't really see the size comparison. But there's my hand, and it took up this whole space between these other brassicas. So you can see how big the plant got to produce that nice big head. Here is a large cabbage and another one. And you can see my hand here for comparison. The leaves are much more spread out, much bigger and wider and healthier. And you can see that's why I've got a nice big head. I know this one's cabbage, um, but the cauliflower is the same. These are the leaves. You can see how big they are. So the bigger the plant, the bigger the head. So I know that I could weed out my small, weak plants just by observing what's happened here in the past. So what I'm trying to say is that maybe because I planted 50 cauliflowers, I got 30 good ones. If I only had five cauliflowers, maybe they would have all bolted. So it could be just luck of the draw, or it could be my new climate, a few degrees cooler than Melbourne, and really rich soils and constant moisture. That might just be my trick. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'd love to hear your thoughts below.